What is up guys? This is the Drop Shipping Hacker here. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to set up shipping rates for your Shopify store. So I'm going to go over, we're going to get into the back office and I'm going to show you exactly the steps required to setting up free shipping and different shipping rates for your Shopify store. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe because I'm posting new tips and tricks on how to become successful with your drop shipping Shopify business. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to log into your Shopify account. And if you're new to Shopify, this is what the back office for Shopify looks like. This is where you can pretty much uh, handle the day-to-day -day businesses of your Shopify store and customize your store and pretty much handle everything you need to do. Um, if you haven't already done so, you can sign up for Shopify and start a free trial, 14-day free trial. You can do that by clicking the link in the video description below to get started. Um, so once you guys are logged in, you can head over to the panel over here on the left and then just select settings down here. And then we're gonna head over to shipping. And guys, I created this as a little tutorial account. So this isn't a real uh, store of mine. This is just for demonstration purposes. So within the settings, we're gonna go down to shipping. And the shipping of origin, we're not going to worry about this for the drop shipping business model since our drop shippers are gonna be, our suppliers are gonna be shipping out the products from China and everywhere else where we're gonna be sourcing from. So you don't have to worry about the shipping of origin. What we're gonna be focusing on is the zones and rates section over here. And we're actually going to be deleting all of this and starting from scratch. So let's just get into here. And this is, this is just uh, the default settings that Shopify creates for us. So go ahead and just uh, delete the shipping zone. And then we can edit this one as well. And delete that. Okay, so now we're ready to get started adding our own customized shipping rates. So go ahead and click add shipping zone. Now, 99% of our business is gonna come from the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Australia. So those are the big four that we're gonna be doing all of our marketing for. And guys, like I said, 99% of all your sales are gonna come from these big four. So let's start putting these in. So actually, this is gonna be, um, this is gonna be just a little title. No one's gonna see this except for you. So we can just type in the big four. And we're gonna start with free shipping. Uh, with this business model, we're gonna do uh, 50, we're gonna do uh, free shipping for $50 or more. So basically that's $50 for total cart size. So it doesn't matter how many products as long as it totals $50 or more. So, so the big four free shipping, $50. So anything, as long as the cart size is $50 or more, they're gonna get free shipping. Um, so next we're gonna go to countries. Let's type in United States and territories. United Kingdom. Canada. in Australia. So we're gonna add all four. And again, guys, these are the big four. This is where 99% of your traffic and sales is gonna be coming from. This is where we're gonna be doing all of our marketing and advertising. Don't worry about all the other countries and territories. Um, if you're looking for more information on how to, how to set that up, um, check out the advanced strategies webinar that I'll post a link in the video description below if you want to learn some more advanced strategies for all of this. Um, but I'm not going to cover that in this video since 99% of our traffic is going to be coming from these. So let's head over to price based rates and just click add rate. So this one's going to be free shipping. So this is going to be the free shipping rate. So the minimum order price 
since we're doing $50. So $50 for the total cart is gonna be free shipping. So there's no maximum and it's just gonna be free shipping and that's it. So you just created uh, a rule stating that as long as the cart is $50 or more, they're not gonna be paying any shipping. So go ahead and save that. And now we got to add a shipping rate for everything less than $50. So go ahead and click add rate again. Um, name it whatever you want. So this is going to be less than $50 shipping. And no, nobody's going to see these names. This is just for you for the back office. So minimum order price is $0 and we're going to go up to $49.99. So this is everything, this is gonna cover everything under $50. Now, here's a little trick, tip, hack that I'm gonna share with you. And for the right amount, we're gonna do 1095. Um, the reason for that is because nobody wants to pay for shipping. Uh, Amazon has kind of set the standard for free shipping. So people absolutely hate paying for shipping. And this is just a little trick that we've kind of figured out that, uh, Let's say they're going to be paying $40 purchasing products from your site. They're not going to pay, you know, $10.95 shipping when they can just buy one more product and they'll satisfy the $50 for free shipping. So this is just kind of a way to incentivize them to purchase a little bit more. And, you know, the higher the cart fills up for us, the, the more we're going to make. So I know it seems a little counterintuitive, but... You really want to drive your customers to spend as much as possible. Now, you can kind of play around with this amount, but I typically find that $10.95 is sort of the sweet spot. Again, it'll depend on your niche. Um, so do a little bit of testing with this, but $10.95 is typically what you want to go with. Uh, so we really want to push our customers to spend $50 or more in our shop. So again, you don't have to do this. You can set it at any rate you want. But this is what we're gonna do with our with this business model for this particular store since we are doing free shipping for $50 or more. So you go ahead and hit done and then just click save. And there you have it. So we've just completed our shipping rates. It was that easy. Um, so we've got everything covered. So if they spend anywhere from $0 to $49.99, they're gonna be paying $10.95 for shipping. And then if they spend $50 or more, they get free shipping. So this is automatically built into your store. There's nothing more that you have to worry about. Uh, if you want more information on more uh, shipping rates for different countries, go ahead and check out the free webinar in the video link description below to learn how you can get started with that. But that's it. That's the basic setup. Again, there, there's other rates that you can do. There's, um, you can do free plus shipping. I'm not going to go over that in this video. I'll probably make a different video for that. Basically, you're marketing a product for free and all the customer has to do is pay shipping. So that's a different marketing tactic and that's something that you would build in right here. So different strategies to keep in mind. But that's it for shipping, guys. For shipping rates, and it's that simple. If you guys are new to Shopify and you want to learn more about the business and how to create your Shopify business and launch it successfully, I do have a free ebook available to you guys. It has the six step formula for getting started with Shopify. You can get that at the www.thedropshippinghacker.com or by clicking the link in the video description below. Um, so you can find that there. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I'm putting out new videos for you weekly on little strategies and tips on how to get started with Shopify and building up your business and brand. Uh, give it a like if you found this valuable. I do appreciate the support. Any comments below, I'll, I'll, I'll certainly be reading them. Um, I think that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Chris with the Dropshipping Hacker, and I'll see you in the next video.